Even though the topic itself is subjective, as it depends on individual preferences and travel styles, I truly believe that these 25 places in Europe are a must visit. The continent of Europa is large, covering 2% of the Earth's surface. Not only is it large, but also diverse. The places we are going to be discussing today were carefully picked by me to suit everyone with different interests. Be it the history buffs, nature lovers, as well as city walkers, there is something for everyone, but let us take this slow, shall we? Chapters will be available in the descriptions box below, so feel free to skip to your area of interest. However, I suggest you watch the entire video as you may find something of value. So let us begin, shall we? Rome dubbed as the Eternal City, packed with ancient ruins like the Colosseum and the Roman Forum stunning Renaissance art, and the Vatican City. It is a place that most history lovers would find solace in. Rome was the heart of the Roman Empire, one of the most powerful and influential civilizations in history. The Roman Republic, and later, the Roman Empire, which had a profound impact on art, culture, law, language, religion, and architecture, not just in Europe, but around the world. Year after year, tourists flock to see iconic landmarks such as the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Pantheon, which are remnants of this glorious past. The Colosseum is an enormous amphitheater where gladiatorial contests and public spectacles took place. Built in the 72 AD, under the reign of the Emperor Vespasian, the Colosseum was a gift to the Roman people during the reign of the Flavian emperors. It remains one of the most iconic symbols of Roman engineering and culture. It may take you a day or two or even a week to explore Rome. And this will depend on your interests. The budget will also vary depending on your need, with an average of 65 to 95 euros if you are a budget traveler and 80 to 150 euros if you want a bit of luxury. But then again, this will also vary depending on travel styles as well as interests. Since Rome is such a popular place for tourists, I suggest you book your tickets in advance to avoid the intense lines and visit in the early mornings or later in the afternoons. Athens, the capital city of Greece, is also a place of immense historical significance and cultural richness. Here are some of the reasons as to why Athens is considered special and why you should pay a visit to this beautiful city. Ancient Athens, often referred to as the cradle of Western civilization, was the heart of ancient Greece and the birthplace of democracy. The Athenian democracy, established in the 5th century BCE, was a groundbreaking political system that influenced democratic principles around the world. It is also believed to be home to some of history's greatest philosophers, including Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Their teachings laid the foundation for Western philosophy and had a profound impact on the intellectual development of humanity. So why should you visit Athens? Acropolis, located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens, overlooking the modern city below, is one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world and a symbol of ancient Greece. It was the center of Athenian life and power, featuring several important buildings, the most famous one being the Parthenon, a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena. Today, the Acropolis is one of Greece's most visited tourist attractions, drawing millions of visitors from around the world each year. Erechthion, another famous site, is located on the north side of the Acropolis. The Erechthion is an important temple dedicated to both Athena and Poseidon. It is famous for its Porch of the Caryatids, with six female statues serving as columns. And so is the Propylaea, a monumental entrance gateway to the Acropolis that was designed by the architect Menesicles. The Temple of Athena Nike is a smaller temple dedicated to Athena as the goddess of victory. Other popular sites you could visit include the Temple of Olympian Zeus and Ancient Agora of Athens, among others. A combined ticket is available for around 20 euros, and it includes entry to the Acropolis, the Ancient Agora, Roman Agora, Temple of Olympian Zeus, Hadrian's Library, and Karamakos. Reduced prices are available for European Union citizens aged 65 and over, as well as students from non-European Union countries with valid student EDs. Another place that I think would suit history enthusiasts is Krakow. Krakow in Poland is home to Auschwitz-Birkenau, a poignant reminder of World War II and a beautiful old town with Wawel Royal Castle and St. Mary's Basilica. Krakow, located in southern Poland, was the royal capital of Poland for over 500 years, from the 11th to the 17th century. 
making it one of the country's most historically significant cities. The old town of Krakow, with its charming cobblestone streets and historic buildings, is one of the best preserved medieval city centers in Europe. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Krakow's underground museum is also a must visit. Beneath the main market square lies a network of tunnels and chambers that make up the Rynek Underground Museum, which offers a fascinating glimpse into Krakow's medieval past. Aside from history, Krakow offers a wide array of traditional Polish dishes, from pierogi, dumplings to obwarzanki, which are traditional pretzels. Kazimierz District. Once the center of Jewish life in Krakow, this district has undergone a renaissance and is now a hub of art, culture, and nightlife. It's also known for its Jewish heritage sites. Krakow is not only known for its history but also its nature. There are also several national parks, including Ojkow National Park and Tatra National Park, offering opportunities for hiking, skiing, and exploring the outdoors. There is just so much more to do here. You have a variety of options to choose from. Seville is the capital of the Andalusia region in southern Spain. Perhaps the most famous site is the Cathedral of Seville. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is the largest Gothic cathedral in the world and houses the tomb of Christopher Columbus. Its iconic Giralda Tower, once a minaret, offers panoramic views of the city. Seville was under Moorish rule for over 500 years, leaving a lasting impact on its architecture, culture, and traditions. The Alcazar of Seville, a stunning royal palace, is a prime example of Moorish architecture. Its intricate tilework, lush gardens, and ornate architecture make it a must visit. A fun fact you should know is that Seville is one of the birthplaces of flamenco, the passionate and expressive Spanish dance form, and you can enjoy this art in city's numerous tablaos. Another thing that Seville is famous for is their oranges and tapas. You can find the city's streets lined with orange trees, where the oranges are used to make marmalades, as well as local dishes. Tapas are offered in bars and restaurants, offering a wide variety of small plates, showcasing Andalusian cuisine. Prague, in Czech Republic, is a fairy tale city with a well-preserved medieval center, featuring Charles Bridge, Prague Castle, and the astronomical clock. Situated in the heart of Europe, Prague is located on the banks of the Vltava River in the Czech Republic. With a history dating back over a thousand years, Prague has been a political, cultural, and economic center of Europe. It was the capital of the Kingdom of Bohemia and later part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The city boasts a mix of architectural styles, from Gothic and Renaissance to Baroque and Art Nouveau. Its well-preserved historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Prague is known for its vibrant art scene, with numerous theaters, galleries, and music venues. The city also has a rich literary history, having been home to famous writers such as Franz Kafka. Must-visit attractions in Prague include the Old Town Square, which is the heart of Prague's historic center. With stunning architecture including the astronomical clock, Old Town Hall, and the Church of Our Lady before Teen. It is free to wander around, however, Climbing the astronomical clock tower or visiting the old town hall requires a ticket. Charles Bridge is a historic bridge crossing the Vltava River, adorned with Baroque statues and offering breathtaking views of the city which is free to walk across and enjoy the views. On the other hand, Prague Castle, Prowski Hrad, is one of the largest castle complexes in the world, housing the St. Vitus Cathedral, Old Royal Palace, and Golden Lane, Entry to the castle grounds is free, but there are fees to enter certain buildings and exhibitions. Aside from history, Europe is also home to some of the most scenic and beautiful naturistic places. The Lofoten Islands in Norway is one of them. The Lofoten Islands are an archipelago in the Norwegian Sea, situated above the Arctic Circle. Known for their rugged mountains, picturesque fjords, pristine beaches, and vibrant fishing villages, the islands offer some of the most breathtaking landscapes in Norway. Rainy has been an important fishing village since 1743, with a rich history of trade and fishing, particularly cod and stockfish, which is still a major industry today. It is often considered as one of the most beautiful villages in Norway. Rainy offers stunning views of jagged peaks, crystal clear waters, and traditional red fishing cabins called Rorbuer. Despite its remote location, Rainy attracts thousands of visitors each year, 
drawn to its natural beauty and peaceful atmosphere. Here are some of the activities to do in Rainy. Number one, hike the Rhinebringen. This popular hike offers breathtaking panoramic views of the village, Rhinefjorden, and surrounding islands. The moderate hike takes about an hour to reach the top. You can also choose to explore by kayak. Kayaking is a fantastic way to experience the Rhinefjorden from a unique perspective. You can paddle around the harbor, explore nearby islands, or even embark on a longer journey to neighboring villages. You can also go fishing. O pronounced as aw is also a must visit. This charming village at the southern end of the archipelago is known for its preserved fishing village atmosphere, museums, and scenic surroundings. There are so many places to visit in the Lofoten Islands, such as Reinebringen and Kvalvika Beach. I recently opened a blog which will be linked in the description, and there I go further into the topics we discuss here. First of all, Switzerland is an incredibly beautiful country to travel to. The Swiss Alps, encompassing over 60% of Switzerland, offer some of the most stunning landscapes in Europe and are a playground for nature enthusiasts and adventure seekers. The Jungfrau region is home to the iconic trio of peaks that is Eiger, Munk, and Jungfrau. This region offers stunning scenery, charming villages like Grindelwald and Wengen, as well as a plethora of activities. Zermatt, nestled at the foot of the majestic Matterhorn, is a car-free paradise, offering world-class skiing, hiking trails, and a traditional car-free village experience. Lukerbad is also a car-free resort village. This haven offers relaxation and wellness. You have the options to soak in thermal baths, explore mountain trails, or indulge in winter sports during the colder months. Plitvis Lakes National Park in Croatia has some of the world's most beautiful cascading waterfalls, turquoise lakes, and lush green forests. It was in our bucket list destinations video, and there is a reason as to why it was. The park offers several well-marked hiking trails that take you through the diverse landscapes of the park, and there are both lower and upper lakes, each offering different perspectives of the waterfalls and lakes. Trails range from easy strolls to more challenging hikes, so you can choose based on your fitness level and time. One of the most iconic features of Plitvice Lakes is the network of wooden boardwalks that wind their way around the lakes. These boardwalks allow you to get up close to the turquoise waters, cascading waterfalls, and vibrant plant life. You'll have numerous opportunities for stunning photos and peaceful moments in nature too. Like I mentioned earlier, Plitvice Lakes has some of the world's most stunning waterfalls, which range from gentle cascades to thundering torrents. Some of the must-see waterfalls include Veliki Slap, the Big Waterfall, Galovac Waterfall, Milanovac Waterfall, and Sastavci Waterfall. Plitvice Lakes National Park is also home to a variety of wildlife, including deer, bears, wolves, lynx, and numerous bird species. Keep an eye out for the wildlife as you explore the trails, especially in the early morning or evening when animals are more active. Needless to say, Plitvice Lake National Park is a place you should consider visiting when in Europe, especially if you are a nature love. There are countless number of activities you can do, some of which we haven't mentioned here like taking a boat ride across the tranquil Kozjak Lake, among many others. Cinque Terre, meaning five lands, in Italian, is a picturesque coastal region in Italy, known for its colorful villages perched on rugged cliffs overlooking the Ligurian Sea. The history of Cinque Terre dates back centuries, with the villages originally established by farmers, fishermen, and traders. The rugged terrain of the region made it challenging to build, resulting in the characteristic stacked houses perched on cliffs overlooking the sea. Cinque Terre consists of five charming villages, Monteroso al Mare, Vernazza, Corniglia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore. Each village has its own unique character, colorful buildings, narrow streets, and stunning views of the sea. Cinque Terre is renowned for its hiking trails that connect the five villages, the most famous trail being the Sentiero Azzurro, Blue Trail, which runs along the coast and connects all five villages. Other popular trails include the Via della More, Lover's Lane, between Rio Maggiore and Manarola, and the challenging Sentiero Rosso, Red Trail, from Monte Rosso to Vernazza. Oh, by the way, some trails may require a Cinque Terre card for access, which also includes train and bus transportation. Apart from hiking trails, Cinque Terre offers several small beaches and coves 
where you can relax and swim in the crystal clear waters of the Mediterranean, Monterosso al Mare has the largest sandy beach, while other villages like Vernazza and Rio Maggiore offer rocky beaches and swimming spots. You can opt for a boat tour or ferry ride to explore Cinque Terre better, or visit nearby attractions such as Porto Venere and the islands of Palmaria, Tino, and Tineto. Cinque Terre is known for its terraced vineyards and olive groves, which have been cultivated for centuries among many other hidden gems. Cinque Terre is also easily accessible by train from major cities such as Florence, Pisa, and Genoa. Tip. The Cinque Terre card is available in different options, including a one-day card, two-day card, and a hiking card. Prices vary depending on the season and type of card, ranging from 750 to 16 per day for adults. The card provides access to the hiking trails, shuttle buses, and unlimited train travel between La Spezia and Levanto. Santorini is often considered one of the most romantic destinations in the world, perfect for couples and honeymooners, and there is a reason why. A volcanic island with dramatic cliffs, caldera views, whitewashed houses, and beautiful beaches. The traditional villages of Santorini, including Oya, Fira, and Imerovigli, are known for their charming, whitewashed buildings with blue-domed churches. Walking through the narrow winding streets and exploring the quaint shops, cafes, and art galleries is a delightful experience, not forgetting about the sunsets. Santorini is famous for its mesmerizing sunsets, particularly in the village of Oya. Crowds gather in the evening to witness the sun setting over the caldera, painting the sky in hues of orange, pink, and purple. Santorini also boasts a variety of beaches with distinct characteristics due to its volcanic history. The Red Beach, Cochini Paralia is famous for its striking red cliffs and sands, creating a dramatic backdrop. The black beaches, such as Parissa and Kamari, feature volcanic black sand and crystal clear waters. And lastly, the white beach. Aspri Paralia is named for its white cliffs and pebble shoreline. Aside from nature and sunsets, Santorini is steeped in history, with evidence of ancient civilizations dating back to the Minoans. The archaeological site of Akrotiri is often called the Minoan Pompeii due to its well-preserved ruins of a Bronze Age settlement buried by volcanic ash. Ancient Thera, located on a rocky promontory, offers ruins of Hellenistic, Roman and Byzantine settlements with stunning views. Despite its arid landscape, Santorini is home to unique vineyards that produce exceptional and distinctive Assyrtico white wines. Paris, often referred to as the City of Light, La Ville Lumière, is one of the most iconic and beloved cities in the world. There are countless reasons why Paris holds a special place in the hearts of visitors and locals alike. For example, the Louvre Museum, which is home to thousands of works of art, including the Mona Lisa. The Louvre is one of the largest and most famous museums in the world. The Eiffel Tower, perhaps the most famous symbol of Paris, offering panoramic views of the city from its observation decks. Notre Dame Cathedral is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture, although it is currently under restoration following the 2019 fire. Paris is also known as a global fashion capital, as it is home to most of renowned designers, luxury boutiques, and iconic department stores. So, if you are feeling a little upscaly and want to break the bank, this is the place for you. Palace of Versailles is located just outside Paris. Other notable places you may want to include in your visit list include Les Invalides, Saint-Chapelle, and the Pantheon. London, the capital city of England and the United Kingdom, is also a vibrant and dynamic metropolis with a rich history, diverse culture, iconic landmarks, and a bustling contemporary scene. The most famous site being the Buckingham Palace. This is the official residence of the British monarch, known for the changing of the guard ceremony. London is surprisingly green, with numerous parks and gardens offering a respite from the urban hustle. Hyde Park is one of London's largest parks, featuring the Serpentine Lake, Kensington Palace, and Speaker's Corner. Regent's Park is mainly known for its beautiful rose gardens, open-air theater, and the London Zoo. And Greenwich Park is home to the Royal Observatory, offering panoramic views of London and the Prime Meridian Line. Apart from it being green, London is a melting pot of cultures, offering a diverse culinary scene with cuisines from around the world. Don't forget iconic landmarks like the Big Ben and Tower Bridge. Like London, the city of Amsterdam is also a vibrant and rich in culture. 
The famous museum of Van Gogh is also found here, housing the world's largest collection of artworks by Vincent Van Gogh, including famous masterpieces like Sunflowers and The Bedroom. Rijksmuseum is also another museum, a national museum dedicated to Dutch art and history, featuring works by Rembrandt, Vermeer, and other Dutch masters. There are also other activities to do in Amsterdam besides going to the museum. Explore nearby attractions such as the picturesque windmills of Zayansa Shans, the historic city of Harlem, or the tulip fields of Kuchenhof in spring. Amsterdam is famously known as the city of bikes, with an extensive network of bike lanes and a cycling-friendly culture. Rent a bike and explore the city like a local, pedaling along scenic canals, through historic neighborhoods, and to iconic landmarks. De Wallen, also called the Red Light District, is known for its narrow streets, historic buildings, and iconic red-lit windows. While infamous for its legalized prostitution, the area also offers historic pubs, quirky bars, and unique shops. Berlin in Germany is a city that I believe has more of an edgy vibe due to its history and culture. Its rich history reflected in Brandenburg Gate, Reichstag Building, and remnants of the Berlin Wall. The remnants of the Berlin Wall divided the city during the Cold War, and they are a powerful reminder of the city's turbulent past. The East Side Gallery has a whole section of the wall covered in murals, which is a symbol of unity and artistic expression. It is honestly beautiful to watch. Checkpoint Charlie is also another place you could visit. This historic border crossing point between East and West Berlin is now a popular tourist attraction, with a museum documenting escape attempts and Cold War history. Aside from history, I find the laid-back nature of the city of Berlin Entising. Berliners are known for their relaxed and laid-back style, with many venues and events having a come-as-you-are attitude. The city also has a reputation for being open-minded, inclusive, and tolerant, welcoming people from all walks of life. If you want to explore Berlin, you can opt to visit neighborhoods such as Kreuzberg, which is known for its multicultural atmospheres. The neighborhood is also home to alternative bars, cafes, galleries, and street markets. Friedrichshain, another neighborhood with a vibrant alternative scene, is known for its hipster cafes, vintage shops, and street art tours. Neukölln is also diverse and a rapidly gentrifying neighborhood. It has a mix of trendy cafes, artists' studios, and immigrant communities. Barcelona, home to Gaudi's architectural masterpieces like Sagrada Familia and Park Güell, as well as beautiful beaches, is a place that I think most city hopers would enjoy. Not only does Barcelona have delicious tapas and other foods, but it is also where the Picasso Museum is located. If you are a party person, then you may enjoy experiencing the city's vibrant culture through festivals like La Merce, a massive celebration with parades, concerts, and fireworks, honoring the patron saint of Barcelona. Montserrat is a stunning mountain range with a monastery perched on a rocky outcrop, offering breathtaking views and hiking trails. You can also choose to explore the rugged coastline of Costa Brava, with picturesque coves, crystal clear waters, and charming seaside towns like Cadaques and Tosa de Mar. If you are a wine person, take a day trip to the nearby Penedès or Priorat wine regions for wine tasting and vineyard tours. For the off the beaten path explorer, I think the following cities we are going to be talking about are going to be the ones you love the most. Matera is a city that many people don't think of when traveling to Italy. Well, that is just my opinion. However, it is a small town full of hidden gems. Located in the southern region of Basilicata, Italy is a unique and captivating destination that offers visitors a journey through time. Matera is renowned for its sassy districts, which are ancient cave dwellings carved into the limestone cliffs. These dwellings date back thousands of years and were inhabited continuously until the 1950s. Today, the Sassi di Matera are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and offer a fascinating glimpse into the history of human habitation. The architecture of Matera is unlike anywhere else in the world. The Sassi districts are a maze of narrow alleys, stone houses, churches, and monasteries, all built into the natural rock formations. Walking through these ancient streets feels like stepping back in time. Matera also has a rich history and cultural heritage. You can visit the Matera Cathedral, Cattedrale di Matera, an impressive structure with a mix of Romanesque and Apulian Romanesque architectural styles. The Church of San Pietro Caveoso and the Church of Santa Maria de Idris are also must-see examples of Matera's historic churches. 
Because Matera is known for its cave dwellings, Matera offers a unique opportunity to stay in a cave hotel, where modern amenities are seamlessly integrated into the ancient cave dwellings. These hotels provide a one-of-a-kind accommodation experience. Similarly, dining in a cave restaurant, enjoying traditional Basilicata cuisine, is an unforgettable experience. Hallstatt, located in the Salzkammergat region of Austria, is often considered one of the most picture-perfect village, cozied up amidst the Austrian Alps, with a charming lake, salt mines, and charming houses. Snuggled between the Hallstatter Sea, Lake Hallstatt and the Dachstein Mountains, Hallstatt is a stunning natural beauty. The village is surrounded by crystal-clear waters, towering mountains, and lush forests, creating a picturesque backdrop that is simply mesmerizing. Dating back to prehistoric times, the region is known for its salt mines, which have been in operation for over 7,000 years. The Hallstatt Salt Mine, Salzwelten Hallstatt, is one of the oldest in the world and offers guided tours where you can learn about the history of salt mining. Sites you can visit here include Dachstein Ice Cave, which is a short drive from Hallstatt. The Dachstein Ice Cave, Dachstein Riesneischhöhle, is a natural wonder not to be missed. Explore this fascinating ice cave with its spectacular ice formations, stalactites, and stalagmites. The Bone House, Bean House, is small chapel which is home to a collection of intricately painted skulls and bones. Due to limited space in the village cemetery, skulls were exhumed after a few years and decorated with the deceased's name, date of death, and symbols. It is kind of creepy though. Experience the beauty of Lake Hallstatt with a boat tour. Relax as you cruise across the tranquil waters, surrounded by the majestic scenery of the Dachstein Mountains and the charming villages along the shore. The Algarve region in Portugal is also one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country, and here is why. The Algarve is famous for its breathtaking beaches, characterized by golden sands, crystal clear waters, and stunning cliffs. Some of the most popular beaches include Praia da Marinha, often considered one of the most beautiful beaches in Europe, which boasts of dramatic cliffs, turquoise waters, and hidden caves. Praia de Benegil is a must visit too, as it is home to the iconic Benegil Sea Cave, where you can get the opportunity to explore the cave by boat. Praia da Falacia stretches for several kilometers and is known for its striking red cliffs, golden sands, and has excellent conditions for swimming and sunbathing. Apart from the stunning beaches, the Algarve is dotted with charming towns and villages, each offering its own unique character and attractions. Lagos is a historic and picturesque old town with stunning beaches and a vibrant nightlife. Don't miss the Ponta da Piedade cliffs and the historic slave market. Meanwhile, Albufeira has more of a lively atmosphere with beautiful beaches. It is a popular destination for sun seekers and party goers. Tavira is known for its well-preserved Moorish architecture, historic churches, and peaceful atmosphere. Because there is a lot of stunning beautiful villages, you can embark on a number of water activities which include surfing, kayaking, and stand-up paddleboarding, or a boat tour. Dubrovnik in Croatia, dubbed as the Pearl of the Adriatic, also boasts of stunning beaches with a fortified old town. The Game of Thrones had some filming locations in this wonderful city. Dubrovnik's crown jewel is its old town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Stroll along the ancient city walls, offering breathtaking views of the sea and terracotta rooftops. Immerse yourself in history at landmarks like the Sponza Palace, the Rector's Palace, and the Baroque masterpiece, St. Blaise Church. Wander down the Straden, the main pedestrian street, where charming shops and cafes beckon. Indulge in local delicacies like fresh seafood and sip on a cup of strong Croatian coffee. It is a wonderful, I promise you. Craving a beach escape? Take a boat trip to the nearby Elafidi Islands, an archipelago known for its pristine beaches, turquoise waters, and laid-back atmosphere. Immerse yourself in the local spirit by attending one of Dubrovnik's many festivals, showcasing music, dance, and traditional customs. Whether you're a history buff, a beach lover, or a cultural enthusiast, Dubrovnik has something to offer everyone. Riga is the capital and the largest city of Latvia, as well as the most populous city in the Baltic states. Being this large, I don't think you should miss out on anything to do. Here is why you should visit Riga. Number one, a remarkable collection of medieval, Art Nouveau, 
and 19th century wooden architecture. This is what made the old town Vekriga a UNESCO World Heritage Site. With sites such as Riga Cathedral, which is a stunning example of medieval Gothic architecture, housing one of the largest organs in Europe. The House of the Blackheads, a beautiful guild hall showcasing ornate Renaissance architecture and St. Peter's Church, which gives you these breathtaking panoramic views of the city if you climb to the top of the church tower. There is also a museum specifically for cars. Car enthusiasts will appreciate this museum. The Riga Motors Museum showcases a collection of vintage cars and motorcycles. Malta is an island nation with historical sites like Valletta and megalithic temples, beautiful beaches, and a relaxed atmosphere. Valletta, the capital city of Malta, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for its Baroque architecture, fortified walls, and stunning views of the Grand Harbor. Highlights include St. John's Co Cathedral, which is a masterpiece of Baroque art with a richly decorated interior. Upper Baraka Gardens offer panoramic views of the Grand Harbor and the three cities. Grand Master's Palace, the home to the President's Office and the Palace State Rooms, showcasing Malta's history among many others. Malta also has its own history. Medina, the ancient capital of Malta, is a beautifully preserved medieval town with narrow streets, stunning architecture, and beautiful views. Other sites to visit include Blue Grotto, a series of sea caverns on the southern coast of Malta, famous for their brilliant blue waters and underwater caves. The megalithic temples, which is home to some of the oldest freestanding structures in the world, dating back to 3600 BC. When you are there, make sure to visit the temples of Hager Kim and Manastra, Malta's sister island. Gozo offers a more tranquil and rural experience with beautiful beaches, historic sites like the Gantija temples, and the Azure Window. Another site is the Hypogeum of Hal Safliani, which is an underground prehistoric burial site dating back to 4000 BC and is considered to be one of Malta's most important archaeological sites. Slovenia is an affordable gem with Julian Alps, Lake Bled, Postojna Cave, and charming Ljubljana, the European green capital of 2023. Ljubljana is the charming capital city of Slovenia. It offers a mix of Baroque, Art Nouveau, and modern architecture, a lively cafe culture, and picturesque riverside promenades. The Ljubljana Castle overlooks the city. This medieval fortress offers scenic views and houses exhibitions on Slovenian history. The Preseren Square is a central square named after Slovenia's greatest poet. It is lined with cafes, shops, and the iconic Triple Bridge. Lake Bled is one of Slovenia's most iconic sites. Lake Bled is famous for its emerald green waters, picturesque island with a church, and a medieval castle perched on a cliff overlooking the lake. To visit Bled Island, you need to take a traditional Pletna boat to the island and climb the 99 steps to the Church of the Assumption. Not only does it help you get your cardio in, but it also offers stunning views. Other sites you could visit include Postojna Cave, which is one of the world's largest karst cave systems, featuring stunning stalactites, stalagmites, and underground passages. Don't miss the unique Prejama Castle, built into a cliff face. Piran, a charming coastal town on the Adriatic Sea, with narrow streets, medieval architecture, and a Venetian influence. You can climb the bell tower of St. George's Church for panoramic views. The Shkocin Caves are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. These caves feature one of the largest underground canyons in the world, with dramatic stalactites, stalagmites, and underground rivers. Soka Valley, known for its emerald green river, offers opportunities for outdoor adventures, such as rafting, kayaking, hiking, and paragliding. There is just a lot to do in Slovenia, you wouldn't get bored. Albania is a rugged Balkan country with stunning Adriatic coastline. Historical sites like Barat, also known as the City of a Thousand Windows, due to its Ottoman-era houses, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with a well-preserved old town, a castle, and stunning views of the Osam River. Girocaster is a scenic mountain which passes along the Albanian Riviera, offering breathtaking views of the Ionian Sea and the Albanian coastline. Ksamil is a coastal village with pristine beaches and crystal clear waters, ideal for swimming, sunbathing, and water sports. You can also visit the Rozafa Castle located near Shkoder, 
This castle has some of the, if not the best, views of the city and Lake Skodir, with legends of a tragic love story tied to its history. Georgia is a country at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. It is also a country that history lovers, as well as nature overs, would find solace in. Often confused with the American state of the same name, Georgia offers a variety of landscapes, such as the Caucasus Mountains, historical sites, delicious cuisine, and friendly locals. Georgia is a land of dramatic landscapes. You can choose to hike or bike through the majestic Caucasus Mountains, known for their snow-capped peaks, lush valleys, and charming villages. Also, while there, choose to immerse yourself in the unique culture of the Svaniti region, with its distinctive stone tower houses, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Machketa is an ancient city that makes you travel back in time. It is the historical and religious capital of Georgia. You can also witness the breathtaking Javari Monastery, perched atop a hill and offering panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. Don't forget to also explore the magnificent Svetitskoveli Cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and one of the most important religious buildings in Georgia. Azores, Portugal, is an archipelago of nine volcanic islands located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean with lush landscapes, geothermal wonders, and whale-watching opportunities. If volcanoes fascinates you, then this is your place. You can start by hiking to the rim of a volcanic crater and witness the power of nature firsthand. There are vibrant hydrangea flowers that paint the slopes in shades of blue, purple, and pink. You can also explore Lagoa das Sete Cidades, a breathtaking twin lake system with one blue and one green lake, surrounded by lush greenery and rolling. Caldeira das Fornas is a volcanic crater valley filled with bubbling hot springs, geysers, and fumarolas, creating a surreal landscape. The coastal plains of Fajas, which were formed by lava flows meeting the sea, create a picturesque and secluded spot for relaxation. If you are looking to be above everyone else, the Pico Island is your guy. Pico Island is home to Mount Pico, the highest peak in Portugal. You can hike to get the breathtaking views of the archipelago. There are also other activities you can embark here, such as relaxing and rejuvenating in the natural thermal baths scattered across the islands, known for their healing properties and mineral-rich waters, bird watching as well as island hopping. Well, that marks the end of our top 25 places to visit in Europe. Did you enjoy the video? Let us know in the comments. Europe is still a large continent. Let us know what you want to watch next. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video brought value to you. I'll see you in the next video.